When you're working on a theme, having Ghost installed locally is essential. It allows you to have real-time feedback on the changes you make to your theme, as well as allows you to debug your theme to make sure there's no errors in it before you go live. Let's get into it. The first step in installing Ghost locally is to install the Ghost CLI, or the command line interface. To do that, you're going to open up a terminal and you'll need to have Node installed for this to work. You can check whether Node is installed by running Node V. If it's not installed, check our tutorial on installing Node locally. The link will be in the description. Otherwise, you'll want to run this command. npm install ghost CLI at latest with the G flag. The G flag stands for global. And what that means is that this is going to install the CLI globally on your system and allow you to use it in any directory. So this will take a few seconds to get the package and install it. And once it's done, you are ready to start installing Ghost locally, which we'll do in the next step. All right, to install Ghost locally, you need to make an empty directory. Now you can call this directory ghost, but you can also call it whatever you want. So I'm going to use this command make directory and I'm going to call mine my first local ghost installation. Now again, you can make it call, be called whatever you want. And then I'm going to change directories into that uh, directory I just made. It's empty. And what I want to do now is run the installation um, command, which is ghost install local. This will take a little bit of time to complete. So you'll see that it's checking the directory to make sure it's empty, that it has the right permissions, that there's enough space, doing all that sort of stuff. And then now it's downloading the most recent version of ghost, which right now is 5.49.0 and now and then installing everything that needs to be installed. So this will take a moment, uh, but then once it completes, it's going to give us a URL with our new ghost instance running. So we have that here and uh, your port might differ, but I'm on localhost 2373. And uh, depending on your terminal, you should just be able to click this and it will open up that uh, URL and give you the opportunity to customize your ghost publication. So you can call your site whatever you want. I'll be creative and call it my site. And then let's be Jamie, Jamie at example.com and put in your password. Now you'll wanna make sure you remember the email and the password in case you get logged out so you can get back in. Once you're done, then you're going to click uh, the confirm uh, button and it'll bring you into this onboarding flow which will give you some information if you haven't used Ghost before. But if you know what you're doing, you can just jump right into the Ghost admin and look at that. You have a local instance of Ghost running on your machine. To conclude, I want to show you five other commands that you can run that can be helpful to know. So right now I am in my Ghost installation directory. And if I wanted to stop Ghost, I could do Ghost stop. So many of these commands are pretty um, intuitive. They do what you think. If I need to now start Ghost again, yeah, that's right, Ghost start. Um, this is helpful to know if you restart your computer, it's going to stop the ghost process. So once you, uh, once the computer is restarted, you'll need to run this command again inside the directory where ghost is installed. Let's say it's been a little bit of time and you've forgotten where ghost is installed. A really helpful command, which you can run anywhere on your machine is ghost LS ghost list. And this will show you all the instances of ghost that are installed on your machine. And something to recognize here is that you can install multiple versions of Ghost um, on your machine. So you can, if you want to test one thing out or use different data or do whatever you want to do, you can have multiple versions of Ghost uh, installed on your machine. And that Ghost LS command is really helpful for knowing 
uh, where that ghost installation is is on the machine and then which version it's it's uh, at and then also whether it's running or not so it's a it's a really helpful command to know another helpful command to know is that if you need to update your version of ghost again very simple ghost update we're already on the latest version so there wasn't anything to do but if you're on an older version this will update your version of ghost for you automatically and then the last one the last command that i want to uh, let you know about is one if in case you forget what those other commands are you can at any place on your machine run ghost help and this will give you a, a list of all the different uh, commands that are available and it's a great reference in case you forget or want to see what else is possible in this tutorial you learned how to install ghost locally so we began by installing the ghost cli which allows you to navigate into any empty directory and run the ghost install local command and few few seconds pass and you have a fully fledged ghost publication running locally on your machine that puts you in a perfect place to create a custom ghost theme. To get started with that, you should check out some of our other tutorials, as well as our theme documentation, which is really a great reference for learning how to create a theme. We also have an official forum that you should come and check out where we talk about all things ghost, and we're a very welcoming bunch where you can come and see and learn about creating a ghost theme. That's it for now, but I will see you in the next one.